so close to the camera there. Zadie, hi, Shadow. How's Shadow? Hmm? Hmm? How's Mr. Shadow? He is a very unique kitty. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hard Matter Farm. So Mr. Shadow has extra toes on his front feet. One side he's got one extra, and the other side he has two extra. So it makes him look like he has mittens. It's pretty cool. Hi, bud. Miss Snickers. I just love her coloring. And there's Sophia. There's Sadie. Hey, Sadie. She is about, I think she's about two, one or two. No, not one, like two or three years old. These guys are not even a year old yet. These three. Um, pumpkins running around somewhere. Bobcat somewhere. Oh, must be out in the woods hunting, Bobcat is. Um, so yeah, quite an eventful weekend, <laughs> as y'all have seen. Uh, Rosie's doing good. She was only searching for the baby for a little bit. Um, but uh, I would say for like five minutes or so, she was looking around for it, calling for it. Um, I left her clean it a bit to help her pass the afterbirth and like that, the placenta. Um, but she's doing very well. She, she wasn't like frantic looking for it, just like walking back forth in the pen trying to figure out where it went. Um, so, but like I said, she stopped then and um, she's doing very well. She does not seem to be cold at all. She's eating. So, and she just still has, you know, she's got the typical messy back end from having a baby. Um, so, I am not going to breed her back right away. I am actually going to wait till the fall, so that way I don't mess up my breeding program. Uh, so, at least that's what I'm thinking I'm doing. So, and of course, I got Oreo in here with these guys. I'm gonna get my phone to sit. So that's how I feed everybody. There's those Anna, Lila, Rosie, which as you can see, she's doing very good, loving her food. She's just like her mother. Robin is her mom. Um, so, and then my big whale, Oreo. She's, thing is, is she's got till February before she has babies. So, but no, she gets. She gets huge. Just wait. You'll you'll be shocked of how big she gets. Ah, uh, she will get even bigger than that. So, uh, also over the weekend, not only you know with Rosie, but I brought my six young ones over 
from my friends. So now I have all 21 go. Did I calculate that right? 19, 20. Yeah, 21 goats. Uh, here on the farm. I did not measure that correctly. thing is, I am going to be selling at least three of my goats. Um, I have one of the young ones up. I didn't want to do this, but they're just not fitting in. Um, I want my dairy goats, but a couple of the Nubians are not fitting in, so I need to find homes for them. Chickens are running after me. <laughs> Why do you guys have to keep putting the feed dishes up? Alright. Hey, 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 Olaf. I know, you're all excited because you got... Well, you're the one that had to do that. You're the one that had to push it out of my hand. No. No. I'm not bending it, I'm not dumping it while you're standing here. There are certain things I will do and certain things I will not do when he is close by. And <clears throat> if the feed bucket is underneath, like it is here, underneath this little overhang, I will not go under, bend down when he is standing there. Uh, Cause you never know when he is in a frisky mood. And he's 200 pounds, so he outweighs me. I don't know. I I forget how much I weigh. I haven't been on a scale in a long time. So, so now I have got oh, what is it? 13 does back out there. Yeah. Oh. So I've got the five feeders back up. Like I said, I like I like my dairy goods. I do like my dairy goods. This is the first time ever having Nubians. And the reason why I went with Nubians is whenever you breed a floppy ear, like my boars, they've got the long down and the ears. Two goats that their ears are up, you will have what's called airplane ears. They go out and then down. We call them airplane ears. They're cute, but sometimes people don't like that. So we are trying to stay away from that. And that's why I went with the Nubians. But they are not fitting in like I thought they would. I have been around Nubians before, and um, these guys just aren't a very aggressive. They're big babies. And so I'm going to be getting rid of three of them. I'm keeping one. I have four. Um, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping one because she's so big. She's very nice. Um, so she will fit she fits in pretty nice with the goat the all the boars. She's ugh, hold on. Putting food down. And I gotta cover it because the chickens want to eat it. Things I do for these animals. Huh, but I love them. Hi guys! Hey guys! Alright. Get back. Yes, I know there's a couple of you in here, but that's better than nothing. So, um, yeah, they just are not fitting in very well. So, they're not trying to establish their dominance either. So, um, but I'm gonna get their food around for them.
her name's there, but the new kid. Yeah. 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 It is cold out today. So we all know Carly. She's one that's for sale. She's the one that aborted here at the beginning of, uh, closer to the beginning, middle of December. Then we've got Miss Nicole. This is Oreo's girl, daughter from a year ago. She's going to be two here. Mm -hmm. This is Maya. This is the other Nubian. She will be getting sold as well. I'm just debating if I want to sell her as being pregnant or wait till after she has a baby and then sell her. Then this is Nora. Um, she is from one of my first does I ever had. Um, and this is Olaf's first daughter. Um, she is, I bred her to chestnut this year because the past two years uh, she's not done a very good job. Of, uh, her babies don't seem to be very good. And so I just didn't know if it was breeding back to Olaf because her mom has so much inbreeding in her that um, I wasn't sure if it was just too much inbreeding of having daddy breeding her back, which normally you don't have any problems with, which I didn't, it's just the babies were really small and just didn't grow. I could I could have had like uh, mini boars basically is what they look like. So this one here I think is, oh that's Moana, this is Moana. Her brother was Maui, he was the fair goat. Then this is Riley, this is Robin's girl. Lucy, that's Lila's girl from two, this one's from two years ago. These two are a year old here in January. Then this one, I gotta remember who this one is. That's not, oh this is Adele, this is Adele. This little girl, this is Daisy May. She's a Nubian. Hi, cutie. She is for sale. I gotta remember what that other boar's. Oh, that I think that was Nicole. Ah. There's April. I can't remember. Oh, and then the one with the spot on her back. That's Naomi, and Naomi is Noelle's best daughter ever um Nora's I mean Nora that isn't Naomi's mom uh, she did have two and her other sister was Noelle um, but she was very tiny and she wouldn't take care of it hey girly Hi, girl. so this one here is Emma she's the one I'm keeping because she's a tank so Carly and Maya are for sale. Maya is actually Daisy May's mom. Um, and Maya is registered. I actually have her papers. I just never transferred them over. I have not had time. So, but, uh, so I'm guessing there's little Daisy May. Those two kind of stick together. Oops got my feed buckets um but uh so yeah and then i'm going to be going with a different breed then i haven't figured out quite which one yet it's either going to be a sonnen which they're all white or an alpine those are two that i've been thinking because the two there's two that i really would like but they're not around this area and if i have to travel far then fine i'll travel far um it's a Toggenberg, which I had them before and I absolutely love them. I did have an Alpine before and she was awesome. 
she was a headbutter. She was, she stood her ground with the other boars. Um, and then the other one I was thinking of also is an open hauser. So those are the four that I've been thinking about uh, with. I'm, like I said, it's still trying to figure out which one I want. Um, so, yeah. Now I gotta let these guys out. Hi, Oreo. <laughs> I really don't like them having horns because then that makes them even a little rougher. But I got these girls, I got her and um, Robin, was it two years ago now? Yeah, two years ago, because Rosie's gonna be two. So yeah, two years ago, I got her. So, um, and they're, oh, I forget how old they are. So, they're used to their horns. There are ways to get horn golf of them. And we did do, we tried to do that with Miss Mary. That's why she's got a little spur going on there. This was, they were born with horns. And, t and when we got them, they were too big to be horned um, with the dehorner. We did it with Lila as well. Hers, she only has little ones that grew back, which is fine. And then Miss Anna as well. Those three we tried to dehorn with bands. Um, okay, that's chicken poop. But uh, it did not, it worked, but yet it didn't work. So, uh, but we're like, okay, that's it. You know, we're, we're not going to do any more of it that way. Just because we did, don't want to do that. Uh, it didn't turn out the way that it was supposed to because we d had done it years ago with the dough that I had that kept getting our head stuck. Uh, so, so yeah. But, uh, so we decided, well, no one, whatever we keep, we're dehorning. What we don't keep is getting, it, the horns are getting left on because most everybody wants horns on their boards. So, that is why Chestnut has his horns because I bought him that way. So yeah, the ones you see with horns are ones because I bought with horns. Um, I just, I don't like, my dairy goats do, are supposed to not have horns, they're supposed to be dehorned, and that I like. I don't like seeing dairy goats with horns, they just look really, really weird. Um, but that's my opinion, so. All right, well, that's it for now. Uh, gotta go in, kids are fighting. They've got on the intercom about something. So I gotta go take care of that. Stay warm and stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow.